Oh, yo, 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 yo. Sorry for the lateness, boys, of the video, but the Premier League is back after the international break. Yes, it has been such a long, long time that I've had an absolute mess today, after David. I thought it started again next week, but actually it was this week. So, yeah, smash that like and subscribe. And we've got another 10 games to get through. No guess because, obviously, I'm filming this at quarter, quarter past three. It should be up by now, but I will hopefully be out by four. So, smash that like and subscribe. And let's get into the Premier League predictions. The Merseyside Derby, Liverpool versus Everton. Now, pre the international break, they Liverpool drew two all against the mighty of Brighton, and Everton in a crucial game against Bournemouth beat Bournemouth by two by, and I think in the Merseyside Derby anything can happen in. The Merthyr Derby, as we are very rare, are we at the are worst? I'm going to go Liverpool 2, Everton 1. And now we move to Bournemouth versus Wolverhampton Wonders. Now, Bournemouth lost that game to, uh, to, um, to 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 um to, to Everton, I've been, Daniel little like well, ten minutes ago to Everton and Wolves. They played against um, Villa and drew one all against Aston Villa, which is a very good result for Gary Neal's men and himself. And I'm gonna say that Bournemouth for win it. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, not I'm gonna go with a nil. I'm gonna go with a one nil win to Wolves in this game. Burnley. Brentford Burnley. Next game up is going to be a very interesting one. Burnley got absolutely smashed by Chelsea by four goals to one. And Brentford, they are not the Brentford of our old selves last season to Man this season. It was Brentford who lost to Manchester United. And I'm going to say. That they need to turn this game on its head if they want to get anything from any result this weekend to do the team in now. I'm gonna say oh shit, sorry about that boys. I'm gonna say it'll be I'm gonna say it'll be Brentford nil. I'm gonna say Brentford nil, Burnley two in this game at Turf no at the Brentford community they did now we move to Man City versus Brighton. Opening team again, and Man City, they're very good. Man City, Man City are very, very good now. And I'm you can't pick between these two teams, but I will, but there will have to be one winner. And I'm gonna go Brent, I'm gonna go Brighton, and I'm gonna go Man City 2, Brighton 1. It could easily be a draw, very easy could be a draw in this game. And now we move to Newcastle United versus Crystal Palace. Now, in this game, I hope, hopefully, Newcastle will win this game. Because I, I don't like the way, I don't like the way that Roy Hodgson's playing his men at the moment. Newcastle to win it. Two goals to nil. And now we move to the last three o'clock game of the weekend on the Saturday. No games on Friday night. This is a good week for me because I've oh, completely got the video up completely. Forest versus Luton Town. And now Luton, they need to find some points to Luton Town to try and survive here in the football in, in the Premier League. And Forest again, I mean, Forest at home are very good. Away from home, not so good, but at home, very good on Luton. So, 
at home are good. I'm going to go Nottingham Forest 1, Luton Town 1. And this is our first game at the late one. It's at 5.30. Chelsea versus Arsenal. Now, these two teams, it's a London derby. It's not a normal derby. It's just a normal London derby between these two teams. I don't know what to say between these two sides here. It could be a very close game here between these two. And I'm going to go with Arsenal to pinch it just 1-0. Like they did against Man City. It's the first time Man City have lost two consecutive two consecutive games for about let's say six let's say about, about a year or two, i'm not sure i think it was, I'm, not, I'm not sure now we move to the game at 8 p.m which is sheffield united versus manchester united now a lot has gone on behind the scenes at man's not over since the international break has happened we have not been taken over by same Gassim. Not only he was a, he was annoying and didn't take it, but Anana no, needs to find somebody, Anana, to find your hands, boy. But I mean, we want to do my cliff. The Glazers, Glazers have been absolute idiots. Why well, we're not sending the club? We need some owners. We need some money. Injuries are going to happen in Holland and form. Why Holland? Talking about Holland. If you haven't gone and seen the RTG episodes. Go give it a watch. Absolute banger. Every single day at about 8 o'clock-ish. Well, it pretty much to go there. About 8 o'clock-ish, boys. So, go get it. Go get it. And, and, yeah. Hoy, United 2. Chris, United 2 no against Sheffield United. And then I move to Sunday. One game, one game on Sunday is Aston Villa against West Ham United, people. Yes, that is correct. West Ham United now against Aston Villa. I could see this game being close. I don't want to talk, talk too much because I want, I want to get it. I, 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 I want to get it out there now. Two 0 no two all between Aston Villa and West Ham. And the last game is on Monday night, which is Tottenham Hotspur versus Fulham. And I don't think Spurs. A time changes just yet. Spurs fans, comment. Are you title rivals for anyone yet? Yes or no? And Fulham, mid-table team again on Fulham. And I'm going to say it will be Fulham nil. Tottenham Hotspur 2 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And that will bring game week number 9 to an end. Thank you for watching. Game week 10 will be... At normal time again, with a guess, but Champions League predictions are on Monday, to be opening on Wednesday, and on the weekend, boys, we have got ourselves a very special video. Until then, boys, have a lovely weekend. Sorry for the lack, sorry for the um, videos being a bit poor, it was, it was worth, I, I, I want to get out there. Until then, boys, peace out.